memorable studio moment with Royce. I spent a whole night in the studio with Royce at Heaven Studios, up all night, recording songs all night. Probably did like five songs. Going back and forth with Royce. You know, you know how that is? <laughs> it's like, you know what I mean? Like, that's crazy. Like, we doing it. I can't believe I'm doing it. Every beat he play, I'm not asking him to get on a song, but he can see I'm working. I'm writing to them beats too. He finish it up. He's like, you got something? Of course I do. He like, let's go. So that was crazy for me to be in Detroit, out there with Royce, just crafting all night. Real shit. Being in the studio all that time with Royce, I picked up creatively, like, pushing it to the limit. You know what I'm saying? Because I seen him. I watched him push it to the limit. And this is a dude who, who don't even have to go that hard. This is a veteran in the game, and I seen him doing that. And that just made me want to do it. Like, he didn't sleep. We was there for, like, two days. He did not sleep. I'm around this man for two days. It didn't see him sleep. It got to the point where I didn't even want to see, let him see me sleep. You know what I mean? I ain't want to sleep. Just kept cooking, so... I'm knowing I gotta push it to the limit. You know what I'm saying? When you got a you got a vet like that pushing like that, you know what you gotta do. My top three underrated rappers right now is first I gotta go back to Big Bro Royce. You know what I'm saying? Like lyrically, I put him against anybody. He could stand there with anybody. And you know what I'm saying? I know I know anybody who heard Royce or just been around him probably think like, damn, like this nigga, he's supposed to be mentioned up there with that. It's like, sometimes he gets slighted in that. And being around him and knowing how he been them words and being an artist and knowing how complex this shit is to do, I'm impressed every time. And I don't, I don't understand how he's not in those mentions. But what I do know is the respect is there because ain't nobody gonna fuck with nobody with a sharp blade like that. Nobody says, say his name or, you know what I mean? Nothing foul. So definitely big bro, Royce. Another MC is I like Cash Doll, you know what I'm saying? I like Cash Doll. She working, she grinding. She from Midwest area, you know what I'm saying? It's like, she, she's like, she knocking on that door and she like need that extra push. You know what I'm saying? That's what I like. I like I like the underdogs and she she an underdog and I'm voting for her right now, you know what I'm saying? Cause I, I like to see that. Watching underdogs made, made me believe that I could do it. You know what I mean? That's what I believed in. And another underrated artist in the game has to be Benny the Butcher. You know what I mean? It's like, this industry is finicky, man. It's like niggas know, niggas know your lyrical ability, but you're not lit enough, so they really can't fuck with you. But as soon as you get lit enough, they be they come they come through, they come around. So you know what I mean? It's like niggas not going off the bars, niggas is going off the litness. You know what I'm saying? That's that's industry shit. You know what I'm saying? So I know I'm underrated. You could put me in a box with a lot of niggas, and I'm gonna shake it. Period. You know what I'm saying? Hey yo, what you can expect next from me? is Benny the Butcher on steroids with DJ Green Lantern. You know what I mean? That's that's going to be one of them projects where, uh, you know what I mean? That's going to help that underratedness. You know what I'm saying? Like, people going to wake up and they going to see. I'm on I'm talking real street shit, bars over classic beats, original beats, and it's hard, I promise. That's probably one of the best projects that I got, and I got like 30 of them. Expect that from me real hard. My album coming right after that, Tanna Talk 3. You know what I'm saying? I'm from my block called Montana Avenue. That's like an old to my block. I did Tanner Talk 2 about 10 years ago. It was a classic. It's probably one of the reasons why I'm sitting right here right now. So I'm doing three. You know what I mean? It was West album. It was West idea to name it that because he just told me it felt like that time now. Because around that Tanner Talk 2, that's when we was all doing, we was doing it. So he was like, call it that. And it's like, it's that same intensity. So you know what I mean? Tanner Talk 3, I want everybody to go get that shit. It's, it's going to be crazy. Green Lantern taught me be, work, being, to work, being able to work with him hand in hand. I see and I'm learning poise. You know what I'm saying? No matter what, this is a legend. You know what I'm saying? Like he he going, he he going with the punches. He damn near got a fucking resolution for everything. You know what I'm saying? So I'm learning that. Like, there's nothing to get bent out of shape. I mean, this is, this shit gonna be a roller coaster ride. If a person like him who who been in this game all these eras, if if he not getting upset or disgruntled or he just going with the punches and, and figuring shit out, that's what I'm learning from this. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm not gonna lie, like sometimes this shit do get stressful. Niggas away from their families and everything. So you gotta take, you gotta excuse yourself from everything that's going on and then enjoy it. You really gotta take time out to take a deep breath of like, okay, this is what you wanted, you living it. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy this shit.